turn it on on the side. There we go. Um, so we are going to still focus a little bit on this heart opening concept in some of our core today. Yes. Um, <laughs> so the heart opening and the alignment around the heart opening has been um, a, a many years journey for me. Um, I have a tendency to have a little bit of a flatter uh, thoracic spine, and we all we all get to kind of recognize what it is that we have going on in our own bodies and work with that puzzle, right? Um, and so, and it it is does tend to be the case with a lot of women, um, which is that because we spend so much time opening up through the front, especially in yoga, and drawing shoulder blades down the back, we tend to shorten the back body and in particular, flatten the upper back. And we are meant to have a curve there that goes in the other direction than our lumbar spine curve. So my back is not a great example of what's supposed to be. So the lumbar curve we're supposed to have goes in this direction. And then the thoracic spine curve goes in the other direction. So if you think of a cow pose in the low back, and the cat pose in the upper back, this is the direction that our spine is meant to go in. But we have a tendency again to drop the shoulder blades onto the back and open up the front more than the back. So in our back bends, if we're already doing that, what we're actually doing is creating less space for our kidneys and less space um, through the back body. And it actually inhibits something like a back bend. So we're going to do a little bit of core work with this heart opening, but we're going to try to focus on this engagement through the ribs and the engagement through the ribs is one of the things that helps us move into the back body. So I'll turn sideways. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of a visual. We'll try. Hands come to your ribs and you don't have to be on your knees. You can be sitting. That's fine. But as you exhale and draw the low ribs in, you should have a little bit more movement into the thoracic spine, into the back, okay? So as we do that and then lift up through our chest and draw shoulder blades onto the back, instead of down the back, hugging onto the back, we can sometimes keep a little bit more of that thoracic spine um, engagement and expansion. Okay, so that's gonna be our goal today through our back bending, through our core work. I'm gonna mute everybody now and we'll get started. All right. So now as you come to your comfortable seat, this is a great place to focus on creating that place where you have the curves through your spine that are supposed to be there. First, the lumbar curve, right? So move your sitting bones back and broad. This action of physically moving them back and broad is a way to help you create a lumbar curve. So that means your belly is coming a little bit forward. It's an anterior tilt of your pelvis. And now we're gonna create more of a thoracic spine, our upper spine curve. Use fingertips in front of you. We've done this a few times in class, ballerina arms keeping the lumbar curve, keeping the low back curve, press fingertips together, take a big exhale and draw your low ribs in, your back body expands back, creating a cat pose in the upper back. And now turn your palms open into your gratitude, lift your chest. Yeah, shoulder blades on your back. But notice again, that engagement of the low ribs in and the rib cage at the um, at the upper core in, lumbar curve, and then release your hands down. Long from hip to armpit, shoulder blades engage, lengthen the back of the neck. With your eyes closed now, take a couple big breaths into this place around your spine, supporting a lumbar curve and expansion into the upper back, into the thoracic spine. And now as you send your breath into your back body to help it expand, just notice, notice the curves, notice your spine.
Then take hands to connect and heart center. And as you gently press your palms together, lift your heart up a little higher and even more so think of lifting your entire rib cage. Exhale, the low ribs draw in. Inhale, lengthen through the back of your neck. And exhale, bow towards your heart. Take a full breath here, honoring yourself for taking the time to tune into the details. And then softly opening your eyes, release your hands down, and then just notice. Notice your spine, that tilt forward of your belly, the lift of the ribs, and the drawing in of the ribs to help expand into the thoracic spine. Now, as you turn your palms up and open more in that gratitude arm place, think of this as not drawing shoulder blades down your back, but hugging them toward each other on your back. When we draw our shoulders down our back, we shorten our spine and shorten our back body, shorten our sides. So take a big deep breath here and think of lengthening from hip to armpit. As you exhale, engage the low ribs, filling into the back body in that thoracic spine area. And now reach your arms out long and stretch them up overhead. And from that place, lift up through your front and notice that your back body probably just shortened a little bit. So now move your low ribs into your back body to help it lengthen and even think of lifting through your first fingers. Good. Inhale, lengthen through your pinkies, lengthen through the front body. Exhale, draw in with the low ribs, lengthen the back body, lift the first finger. Good. Next exhale, hands come together at your heart. And now we'll move through the shoulders a little bit more. Inhale, circle arms up and overhead. And exhale, hands together at your heart. Inhale, circle arms up and overhead. And exhale, hands to your heart. One more time this way. Inhale. And exhale. And now... Arms out so that you have a 90 degree angle with your elbows, palms facing each other, elbows straight ahead. Plug in with your shoulder blades, draw them onto your back. Lift up with your rib cage, think of lengthening hip to armpit. And now draw elbows in together to touch and then touch your palms. From that place, circle elbows. Circle them in one direction and then circle them in the other direction. Good, so now hug, wrap one arm over the other, it doesn't matter which one you do first. Walk fingertips toward your shoulder blades and just notice that right now probably shoulder blades are drawing apart from each other and then draw them toward each other. Yep, draw them apart, let them broaden and then draw them toward each other. One more time, let them broaden and then draw them toward each other. Keep them there. Round in through your upper back. Tuck your chin in, take a big breath into that space in between your shoulder blades. Then inhale, lift up, and then arms back to that 90 degree angle here, elbows straight ahead. Plug shoulder blades in, and then wrap the other arm over the top. Walk fingertips toward your shoulder blades. And we're gonna do the same thing. Let shoulder blades broaden, and then draw them toward each other apart and then toward each other, apart and then toward each other. But keep them toward each other. Take a big inhale and lift up with your rib cage. Exhale, round in, tuck your chin in, elbows toward the ground. Big breath into that space in between your shoulder blades. Inhale, rise back up and switch the cross of your legs, coming to the less comfortable cross for yourself. Shift your sitting bones, move them back and broad. Again, that helps you to find the tilt of your pelvis so your belly can come forward. Fingertips come out in front again, and you're going to push, expanding into the upper back. Big exhale, draw in with the low ribs, draw in with the rib cage so that you have a cat pose in the upper back. Then inhale, gratitude arms, expanding into the front. Exhale, expand into the back. Inhale, expand into the front. 
One more time this way, full exhale, full inhale. And then reach your arms up all the way overhead and exhale, hands come to your heart. Pause for a moment, eyes closed, tune into a full deep inhale and exhale in and out of your nose. And now go ahead and shift forward on the hands and knees. And from hands and knees, take a moment to set yourself up. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. And rotate elbow pits forward and push, expanding into the upper back. Tuck toes under and lift hips up and back. Downward facing dog pose. And then pedal out, bending one knee at a time. Take another big deep breath here. And then walk your way forward, coming into your forward fold at the front of your mat. Take an inhale and lengthen part way, long spine. Exhale and fold over your legs. Hands to hips, press back on hips. Lift up and open through the shoulders first and then rise all the way up to stand. And as you find your way up to a standing position, feet are inner hip distance apart and parallel. Take hands to your low back. Walk them up onto your low back. Think about tops of glutes. And then as you give your knees a little bit of a bend, lift and spread your toes and then push down all the way from glutes into the floor. And now push down with your hands and start to lift your front, lift your shoulders, draw shoulder blades onto your back, taking a little bit of a back bend here. Take a big exhale and engage the low belly and the low ribs. Inhale, lift your chest up higher. Think of lifting it toward the ceiling, even as your shoulders curl back. Exhale, low belly and low ribs in. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, engage. With that engagement, inhale, rise back up. Release your arms down, turn your palms forward, close your eyes, and take a full breath. Inhale, stretch up overhead. Exhale, bend knees to fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen part way. And exhale, fold. Plant fingertips, right foot steps back into your lunge. Turn and plant your back heel. And inhale, rise up to your warrior two facing the right side. Settling into the front knee and opening up. Lifting through your ribs, your chest, your heart. Engage the low belly and low ribs. Inhale, lift your chest up higher. Even as you keep that engagement, so just a little bit lower. Next inhale, reach straight up with your left arm. Right hand comes to your hip or your thigh behind you. Lengthen, reach up higher. Plug in with both shoulder blades. Take a full big breath and tone through the core. Low belly, low ribs, draw in. Inhale, lift your chest higher. Exhale, both hands come down to the front of your mat. Tuck your back toes and step forward. Next exhale, left foot steps back. Turn and plant your left heel. And inhale, rise up to your warrior two. Settling in to your front knee and opening it up. Lift your sides. And from that place, as you lift your sides, think of lifting from hip to armpit, and then drawing shoulder blades to snug onto the back, not down the back, but to hug toward each other. And even more so, they hug onto your back body. Take a big inhale, lift your ribs. Exhale, low belly and ribs engage. Inhale, lift your ribs. Exhale, engage. Keep that engagement as you stretch up. As you stretch your right arm up, think of lengthening from hip to armpit. Shoulder blades are engaging onto the back. Engage the core again. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, hands come down to the front of your mat. Tuck your back toes and step forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale and fold. Hands to hips. Press back on hips, lift up and open through your shoulders and rise. Open through the heart as you rise up. 
So now this time, feet inner hip distance apart and parallel. Lift and spread your toes and root them down. Take hands behind to clasp. And as you clasp, remember the tendency to lock out wrists and elbows. So press palms, bend elbows, lift shoulders up and back, shoulder blades start to engage as you hug your elbows back. Now, as you root down through your feet, engage the low belly and the rib cage. Inhale, lift the entire rib cage up front and back. Exhale, engage the ribs. Engage the low belly. Take another inhale, lift your chest. Engage and fill into the back body as you exhale. Inhale, lift up. This time, bend knees and exhale to fold over your legs. Hands can stay clasped here if you would like, but remember, palms press, elbows hug toward each other, shoulders are up and back. Take a full big breath. Releasing hands down, plant them and step back. Downward facing dog pose, take a deep breath. And now lower knees down, hips to heels, take a child's pose. Take a couple big breaths and add a little bit of movement to find more length. But even more so, remember that breath that fills out your intercostals. Your intercostals get to help you expand your sides. Intercostals are the muscles in between each rib. And now inhale, rise to hands and knees. Walk your knees back and lower all the way down to your belly. We're gonna do a little bit of work from here. So hands can be right underneath your shoulders here. We're going to use them to help push and activate the ribs. We've been fighting that rib activation all week long, or at least from Monday to now. So now root down through tops of feet, root down through your knees, engage the low belly, push your hands down, take a big exhale, and try to cinch your front ribs together. As you do so, think of them lifting up a little bit from the ground. Now, lift shoulders up and back, shoulder blades engage. Exhale, low belly, front ribs engage. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, engage the core. Good, so now as you exhale, lower all the way back down, you can even set your forehead on the ground here if you would like. We're gonna do a little bit of work pulsating in that core work. So, as you inhale, expand your intercostal muscles, your ribs. As you exhale, engage, drawing front ribs in, low belly in. Inhale, lift legs and hands as you lift your chest. If you want to, you can set your hands or your legs back down or both. Exhale, as you lower just a little bit, draw your low ribs in. Inhale, lift up into a higher position here with your chest, maybe even your legs. And then exhale, lower just a little bit. Engage the low ribs. Keep that engagement as you inhale and lift up. Exhale, lower to a hover. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower. Good. Keep going with your breath, finding that pulse with your breath. Find that re-engagement with each exhale. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower a little bit and re-engage. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hands come down, feet come down, push back, hips to heels, take a child's pose. A couple big breaths. Couple more big, full, deep inhales and exhales in and out of your nose. And then gently push yourself back up to your seat and come all the way down to sitting bones. And from this place, 
Lengthen your legs out in front of you. Move your sitting bones. And now you're gonna have your choice here. We're gonna work into more of a reverse version of our plank pose, but you can keep your hips down. You can come to more of a tabletop place instead. All sorts of options. And actually I'll turn to the side so that you can see. So as you set your hands behind you, you can set them back a little ways so you're leaning a little bit back, but then push. And fingertips are turned toward your feet as much as is comfortable. You might have them turned out a little ways if that's easier on the shoulders. But from this place, root down to your palms and fingertips and lift your chest. Now, as you lift your chest, shoulder blades engage to help support that. Exhale, engage the low belly and the ribs. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, engage the core. Now from here, you can bend knees and stay right here or you can lift your hips up into tabletop or you can lift your hips up into your reverse plank. Whichever feels the best, push, expand your chest, shoulder blades engage, engage the low belly and low ribs even as you lift your chest. Take one more big breath. Exhale, lower hips down, and then bring soles of feet together into your butterfly as you sit up tall, and then maybe walk your hands forward, coming into a forward fold. If forward fold is not in your practice, if it makes the low back round back in the other direction than what we talked about earlier with the lumbar curve, then maybe stay upright. Take a full big breath wherever that is. Good. Now inhale, rise back up, and we're going to take this one more time, and you get to decide. Maybe you do a different version of it this time, depending on what your body needs today. So either lengthen the legs out or bend the knees, your choice. Hands behind you, fingers turn forward, press, expand and lift the chest, shoulder blades engage. As you engage the low belly and the low ribs, also lift your hips into whatever variation you're choosing. Full big breath, remember, push, expand the chest, shoulder blades engage, engage the low belly and the ribs. Push with feet and hands, no matter what variation you're choosing. Take one more big breath and expand your front body even more. Exhale, hips down. Feet come together into your butterfly one more time. Take an inhale, sit tall. Exhale, fold if that's in your practice or stay sitting tall. Big deep breath. And now knees come together, lifting your chest and then lay all the way onto your back. Make sure you can reach your props. And from your back, knees hug in, rock a little side to side, letting your back body lengthen. And now setting footprints on the ground, you have a choice here. You can um, do the restorative version of your bridge pose here right off the bat and put a bolster or something underneath your hips. Or you can do a little bit more work here with your feet on the ground, elbows on the ground. And as you think of inner hip distance apart and parallel with your thighs, also think of rooting down through your feet. When you do that, sometimes that tucks the tail a little bit. So untuck the tail. Think of moving sitting bones down and creating a lumbar curve. Press elbows down and move the low ribs down, but keep the lumbar curve. As you move the low ribs down, take a big breath and engage the low belly and the ribs. Cinch them in a little bit more, but don't lose the lumbar curve. Then inhale, lift your hips up. And as you lift your hips up into your bridge pose, hug in with the muscles of your legs and reach through your thighs. Think of tilting sitting bones down and engaging the low belly and the low ribs. 
Then elbows help you walk your shoulder blades a little further underneath. Maybe push a little more with feet and elbows to lift your hips higher. Reach through your thighs. Take another big breath here. And exhale, lower hips all the way down. Walk your feet out wide and take windshield wipers. If you're doing a restorative version of bridge pose, you can always keep your hips lifted here. And now back into center with your legs. Walk your feet in. And again, you can stay in a restorative version. You can choose a restorative version this time. Or one more time with a little bit of work, walking feet in towards your sitting bones. I never say so that you can reach out and touch your heels. I have shorty arms. I can't touch my heels, okay? So it's okay for them not to be in that close. Now, from rooting through your feet, also tilt your pelvis so sitting bones are moving down. Press your elbows down. Walk your shoulder blades in. Low ribs down. Now inhale, lift your hips up. Reach through your thighs, press through the feet, sitting bones down, engage the low belly and the low ribs, and then inch your shoulder blades in a little further, maybe push more, lift your hips higher, keep reaching through the thighs. Exhale, hips all the way down, and then walk your feet wide. One more time, windshield wipers. And then knees draw in and just give them a couple of pulses. And they can be wide here or narrow, whichever feels the best. You can rock at the same time as pulsing them in and out. And then set your feet down and start to find your version of Shavasana. Start to find your resting pose where you get to let your whole body digest all the work you've done whether it's from your yoga practice or in your work week, whatever it is. Let everything settle in on a cellular level. Begin to take a deeper breath. And gently add a little movement to fingers and toes. And as you're ready to bend your knees and roll to your side, and slowly bring yourself back up to your seat. Bringing hands to connect at heart center, eyes closed. Take a moment for a full deep breath. How 
Have a very peaceful, very beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.